Welcome to Electron Online. In this case, we have to both factor the numerical coefficients in front and factor the next to some exponent. The key again is to find the smallest exponent, which doesn't appear that obvious initially. But here you have five halves and there's three halves. Well, three halves is smaller than five halves, so we're going to factor out an x to the three halves. And of course, with the 15 and the 10, we can also factor out a 5. So this is going to be equal to 5 times x to the 3 halves power. And that's going to leave us with, well, when we factor out a 5, we get 3x to some new exponent plus when we factor 5 from 10, we get 2, and x to the 3 halves would be, of course, times 1, because 1 times x to the 3 halves gives us back x to the 3 halves. But what exponent do we need over here? Well, again, what we can do is when we multiply these two together, 5 times 3 gives us 15, and x to the 3 halves times x to some unknown exponent gives us back x to the 5 halves. So what does that become? Well, x to the 3 halves times x to some unknown exponent should give us back x to the 5 halves power. So in other words, 3 over 2 plus some unknown exponent gives us 5 over 2, because when we multiply, we need to add exponents. So what added to 3 over 2 gives us 5 over 2? Well, that would be 2 over 2 or 1. So 3 over 2 plus 1 equals 5 over 2, which means the exponent in here must be equal to a 1. And then simplifying that, we get this is equal to 5x to the 3 halves power times 3x to the first power, simply 3x, plus 2. And that is the simplified form after we factor it. And that is how it's done.